Now, energy is starting to break out, so I wanted to show you an option trade setup that we did today. Hi, I'm Larry Gaines from, from PowerCycleTrading.com, and today we did a breakout trade based on XLE. So you can see it's starting to break above this 618 retracement level, and a lot of times, technically, when you get a break above the 618, it opens up the door for the move to the prior high. So let's take a look at this a little bit more in depth. So you can see first, First off, if you look at XLE and take the kind of the low to high from back here in uh, June, June, about June the 8th to the low right here on about July the 14th, uh, we just hit through the 618 retracement here today. You can see how we tested it a number of days up here, pulls back, holds the 50% retracement, ticks back up, chips away, chip, 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 chip. So finally breaks. So typically you'll have three, four days where it chips and then breaks. Now, once you break a 618 retracement, the probability is that you'll get a retracement back up to the prior high. So that's what we're looking at currently for a potential move on XLE. Now, another positive sign here on XLE is that if you look at the low from the March COVID low to the high, XLE came right back down to that 382 retracement and held right on it. See that? So major support was, was held on that 382 retracement. So now we're pushing back up and potentially back to that prior high. The other thing that looks really good is the uh, relative strength of this uh, XLE versus SPY. So let's take a look at that. So here's XLE relative to SPY as a spread. And you can see it broke out right about in here uh, back in the mid of August. So it was trading at that point in time, XLE was trading at $80 per share under SPY. And now we're up to only 47. So really good, positive relative strength uh, on XLE versus SPY. So the trade setup we did today, this was an alert service trade that I have uh, sent out to all the members of that alert service was to go long XLE. And we did it using what we call a call calendar diagonal. So we structured a trade, this calendar uh, call calendar diagonal to you know, give, give some time for the trade to work out. So basically went long, the long dated, the 18 November 83 call. And it was trading right here, going through the breakout right here at that 618. So it's trading right a little bit under 83, right at, actually at 83. So bought the 18 November 83 and then sold against it the 28 October for the 87 strike there. So that's not this week's Friday expiration, but the week after that. So we did this for $348 per spread. Currently went out, it's up 20. Now, if we get a move um, into our target price of uh, 87 up here, uh, this will be up uh, over $230 uh, if that happens. So, but it gives us time to work the trade. So you can see that Based on this trade setup, you know, we're long the 18 November, so we've got 30 days to work there, and then we sold against it the 28 October. So we can, uh, we can adjust the trade for the 28 October. We can go to the 4 November, 11 November, 18 November, and roll it if we want to go from there. So this is a really cool trade setup, uh, really great for uh, giving ourselves some tr uh, time to amortize the trade down if we need to. And uh, we could also just, if we wanted, just go long, uh, close out the 28 October 87, short call against it, just go long the 83 and play it like that. So really great way to trade for a little bit longer term type trade setup. So this helps and I'll talk to you on my next video.